Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today we're looking at Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, where Jesus pronounces these famous words, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way that you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye, but pay no attention to the plank that is in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye or your sister's eye. It's a very challenging passage there, because all of us, have a predisposition to be judgmental of others. Something about our fallen human nature that means that we are critical of others, that we assume the worst of others, that we tell ourselves a negative story about them, and yet we give ourselves the benefit of the doubt, and we justify our own behaviour and give all sorts of excuses. Jesus here almost reverses that and says, if we're going to do anything, then we need to assume our own motives are corrupt. We need to start with our own sin and give our brother or sister the benefit of the doubt, to be gracious towards them. Because if you're judgmental of others, if you use a measuring line of judgment against others, then God's going to use that measuring line against you. If you think about it, it's another way of looking at the idea that Jesus has in the Lord's Prayer. We forgive others as we have been forgiven. How can we withhold forgiveness from others when we have been so generously forgiven by God our Father? How can we withhold grace from others when we have been receipt of the most amazing, outstanding, outrageous grace from God ourselves? So how can we judge others if, uh, if, if we ourselves have been freed from condemnation? Romans 8 verse 1. No need to change this, Jesus says. He uses this wonderful analogy of the person who's trying to get a speck of sawdust out of their brother or sister's eye and yet has this plank in their own eye. No, he says, deal with the plank in your own eye first. That should be your first, your reflex action. Your reflex assumption is that your sin is greater, that your sin needs dealing first. And in fact, a lot of, uh, of, of hurt and damage could be avoided if we started simply with that first step of dealing with our own sin, of assuming our own sin. If you went for a major eye surgery and you turned up and your surgeon turned out to be themselves blind, you'd have concerns, to say the least. Why then do we assume that it's okay to pronounce judgment and to try and help our brother or sister with their sin without first tackling our own? The challenge this week is to have a little bit of a think about that, to register where in our day we are pronouncing judgment or being critical or complaining about others, and to take a moment to confess our own sin to Jesus who by his blood has rendered us no longer under condemnation.